I felt as though I was unable to escape the situation, and that the universe had somehow conspired to bring us together. I had applied for a position at a new shop, and after being called for an interview, I rushed to a library to print my resume and references before racing to the other side of the city. As I entered the interview, I accidentally tore my documents in half, but decided to push forward anyway. Little did I know that this decision would change my life. Out of approximately 100 applicants, another girl and I were chosen to be the two female cashiers at the shop. I couldn't help but wonder why I had been chosen. When I began my job, I noticed him on the first day, but I didn't think much of it at first. Over time, I developed a crush on him, but I was too scared to act on my feelings. We grew closer as time passed, but after a Christmas party, he left the job without explanation. Although I hoped to see him again, I never did. Three years later, on my first day of college, I saw him from a distance but I couldn't catch up to him. We happened to have the same class, but different professors, and I would see him from afar twice a week until he finally said hi. We began talking again, but he had a girlfriend at the time, so I didn't act on my feelings. On the last day of the semester, we coincidentally finished our exam at the same time and met outside. As we talked, it felt like we had to say goodbye energetically and separately. After seeing how happy he was with his girlfriend on social media, we stopped talking. However, I always knew deep down that we would meet again someday. Over three years, I traveled, moved out on my own, moved back home, lost my job, and found a new job in a fancy building downtown. It was the job I had always wanted. I was excited for the next phase of my life and making new friends at work. One day, my pregnant coworker asked me to get her lunch from the cafeteria, and it just so happened to be the day before my 25th birthday. While waiting in line to order, I saw him in front of me. I was thrilled and knew it was fate that brought us together again. We went on a few dates and shared a magical kiss, but then he stopped responding to my texts. Eventually, he apologized and asked for another chance, but things took a weird turn. He would call me after his drunken nights out pouring out his feelings for me, and we eventually gave in to our intense physical chemistry. However, he couldn't commit, and I accepted that. The last time we spoke was August 12. 2012, and I moved on with my life, eventually getting married and having two beautiful children. A tea leaf reader predicted that I would have a choice between two men with a heart between them and the number 777 above them. February 19, 2020, marked seven years, seven months, and seven days since the last time we spoke. While our story has similarities to other twin flame stories, it is not necessarily a twin flame connection. We met in the 3D, but one or both of us was not ready for a deeper connection at the time.